Our next gen DX operational intelligence solution has the ability to monitor the Azure public cloud resources, bringing in extended visibility of the cloud assets, performing root cause analysis with a combination of matrix logs and topology. In this video, you will learn how to monitor Azure infrastructure using the Azure Collector. The first step is to download the agent. So from your DXS, click on Download Agent. The download page shows a list of available agents. Depending on whether you wish to install the agent on Unix infrastructure or Windows, click on the Required tab. In this demo, we will focus on Azure. So, click on it to download the same. The Configure Azure page allows us to configure the agent and download it upfront. You can also download the unconfigured agent and configure it later. Feed in the basic configuration details such as subscription ID, tenant ID, client ID and client secret. Also, the default polling interval is set as 15 minutes. You can modify the same. However, we recommend keeping the minimum poll interval to 5 minutes or above. Once you feed in the configuration details, you name and save it for later use. Once done, click on Download and Install Agent, which will start downloading the agent. On this page, you can view the instructions that need to be performed post-download. Also, it shows the configurations that can be edited. Scroll down to explore. Observe it shows the configuration properties such as the subscription ID, tenant ID, client ID and client secret which you have set earlier. Now it indicates that you can modify those and restarting the batch file will update the changes. Further, it shows the options of configuring multiple Azure profiles. You can also perform slicing and dicing by selecting a specific resource group you wish to monitor. In this situation, we are monitoring all the resources of the selected subscription. Similarly, you can modify the poll intervals. Further, you have the flexibility of setting poll intervals for each service. Other than that, you can set a filter for your resource groups as well. In addition to these Azure specific filtering capabilities, we also support integration via proxy. So in case you are connecting your Azure account via proxy, then you can use these proxy configurations. We support both forward and reverse proxy. So depending on your need, you can modify these configurations and restart the agent to set the configuration in effect. Once the agent is downloaded, place it in your required folder and close the setting page. Expand the folder and you will find all the required files. Now, open a command prompt and execute the install command to install the agent with the defined configuration. Wait until the installation completes. Once done, it will set a connection with your Azure account and will start discovering and monitoring the resources. Execute the status command to verify. Observe the status indicates that the agent is running. In case you want to make changes in the configuration, navigate to the Azure folder and open the bundle.properties file. Modify the properties, save the file and restart the agent to get the newer configuration being in effect. In this situation, we will proceed with the set configuration. Now to view the Azure inventories, let's navigate to the performance analytics page of DX operational intelligence and from the available matrix pane, Expand and select your agent. Observe the Azure node is created post-discovery. Expand Azure to view the Azure subscription monitored by this agent. Expand subscription ID and then its children node. Under resource group, you can see how many resource groups are currently monitored by the agent. In case you have not set any filter for your resource groups, your agent will discover all resource groups automatically. However, as a best practice, we recommend that you set a filter for your resource groups. For example, separate agents for production resource group and test resource group. Further, expand the resource group to view the services it is monitoring. For the purpose of this demo, let's select the virtual machine. 
Now select a service to view the matrix getting collected for that service. The matrix list gets expanded. Select the one you wish to view and analyze. For example, let's expand the network. Now add any matrix by clicking the plus sign and observe it displays the matrix graph in the left pane. Hover the mouse to view the matrix details. You can add as many matrix within the device or across devices and resource group for comparison and visualization. Traditionally for monitoring we have been doing manual thresholding which means setting a threshold matrix. For example, you set a value as a threshold value for CPU utilization and when it goes beyond that value, the system generates an alert. However, our next-gen solution is based on analytics and machine learning algorithm, so you don't have to set the threshold value manually. Based on the ingested matrix, the system builds seasonality of these matrix considering the peak time and off-peak time period and creates a green highway which indicates a normal usage. In case of any deviation, the system detects those and generates an anomaly alert. You can choose various out-of-the-box layout for better visualization and comparison of the matrix. Our solution not only collects inventory and matrix, but also builds topology. To visualize the topology, browse to the topology viewer screen and then select the Azure subscription you wish to visualize. The topology view displays the visual representation of the entire stitched topology indicating the relationship between your inventories. So filter your required as your subscription ID and click on the topology icon. By default, alert filter will be selected and it will only show nodes that are having an alert. Also it will show which all agent is monitoring this subscription. You can change these filter settings according to your need and can zoom in or zoom out for better visualization. Thank you for watching this video. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.